And it's boss time. We don't get boss music. But we do get boss time again. We're up against Karsh, who we didn't learn the name of. Uh, but the other guys we didn't learn the name of. And we're paired with Girl, even though we know her name. Like, the game told us we know. So we have Karsh. The other two people are Salt and Pepper. Obviously playing on Salt and Pepper. Uh, notice that they are uh, yellow, but uh, Karsh is green. Just something to keep in mind. All right, let's, let's attack as we can. And yeah, as you can see, they are yellow. Uh, we'll go for an element here. Let's go for a magma bomb because it hits all enemies and we're not going to worry about elemental color at all for the time being because we want to get it. That's, that's more important. He hits us for seven. All right, come on, girl. Attack Karsh. I'm going for Karsh because he's the, he's the best of the bunch. She doesn't do very much damage. Girl is uh, innate color red. Sir! His innate, innate color. Uh, you know what? I should give him more of a proper voice. Sir, his innate, innate elemental color attribute is white. All right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You income poop. You should always carry elements of every color. Yeah, this is essentially a tutorial boss fight. Telling you how to uh, use elements. And how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, sir, Karsh, show us how it's done. Useless fools! Er, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might! And he doesn't have them either. Nobody has any black element. A uh, girl here is uh, red. So let's see what we can do with uh, Fireball. No, Magma Bomb. She also has tablets and another Fireball, but uh, we just need to go with Magma Bomb for the time being. Should be a little bit boosted due to the fact that she is red. Like I said, this is the part that kind of reminds me of Pokemon with the, uh, eh, just defend. It's not worth going for the one attack. And then you instantly get a lot of stamina. That's the downside of using the combo that I'm used to, which is, you know, one, two, three element, is that when you only got two party members, you don't get back up to full stamina. That is an issue. Also an issue, missing when you have a 91% chance of hitting. That's an issue. Yeah, these guys ultimately are not that difficult, but Karsh is uh, by far the best of the bunch. Uh, can I use another magma bomb? I cannot. Uh, but I can use a photon ray. That should be useful. Yeah, let's use it against Karsh. We want to get as much damage on him as soon as possible anyway. 28 damage. Can't really beat that. Well, you could, but uh, I'm not going to be able to right now. Hey, she doesn't do all that much damage. She doesn't do all that much. Yeah, fireball plus two. Let's go for it. Oh, he's leaning over, and he's down for the count. Now we're down to people with jokey names, and they've already kind of shown incompetence, so I'm going to assume they're joke characters, even though we don't have that much to go on. Salt and Pepper. And everybody's back up to four. One defendant is usually very good at refilling stamina, if that's what you're going for. Yeah, these guys are not difficult not difficult at all. But they do teach you about elements, which is always nice. Alright, salt is almost gone. Down he goes. Unfortunately, Surge doesn't have any more attack elements, so just go for basic attacks and win. You know, we've already taken down two. You haven't shown anything that can really take us down, so I'm not too concerned at this point. Although I do have one last element on girl, which is fireball. Unless her name has changed since uh, since our dream. Maybe we just called her kid. That's always a possibility, isn't it? But we win. God, that's a short skirt. 
You just gave me the camera angle just to stay, didn't you? And we've received another star and we've reached a new growth level. 300 gold has come our way. We do get nine HP, lots, lots of stuff in the middle. I would love more agility, but I think that's gonna be increasing all that soon. And we do get another slot, a uh, level two slot in our element grid, so to speak. And girl gets more HP and she's already got more HP. And the Surge does not have a lot of HP, as I'm sure you'll figure out as we keep going. And let's heal without using consumables, that's fine. And we do get a bone axe, an ivory vest, and an ivory helmet. We get legitimate items. We get legitimate equipment as the result of this fight. First time we've gotten anything that wasn't crafting. We could have gotten a power glove and two coppers instead. Sir Karsh. Uh, I say we shake it on out of here so that we can live to fight another day. These aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! You all right, mate? Where'd you get your accent? Sir, your, your name's Serge, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... And we get the option to name her, but we are going to stick with the default, which is Kid. That is her name. It didn't change since the dream that we had with her in it, nor did it change from Radical Dreamers, which she is a main character in. Call me kid, nice to meet you. Just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. You just pissed the bloody hell out of me. Wish I could have beat him up some more. But why was that mob after you? What do you mean you've never even met him before, eh? Ah, forget it. Hey, sir, how about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on me own. <laughs> you coming on to me? So how about it, Serge? Perhaps it was fate that we would meet up like this. Everybody's bringing up fate lately. This is like a record of it, though. Uh, so... As I said uh, in part zero, if you guys watched that, uh, my goal for the first uh, playthrough here, because gonna, there's going to be multiple playthroughs, my, my goal for this playthrough is to get as many characters as I can. So we're going to say no. Nope. Hang on. Are you telling me you're going to refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? Yeah, you're not vulnerable or sweet. You might be little, though. Nope. You sure there, mate? You might live to regret it, you know? No, thanks. Jeez, I'll have it your way, mate. And off she goes, which seems counterproductive. We did. We actually did not get a party member. We refused to have a party member with us. I'll be heading up north to a town called Termina. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to shack up for the night. Don't want you to become Hecron bait now. <laughs> What is a Hecron, anyway? We haven't actually seen one, we just got a bone from it. Well, see ya! I don't think those bones back, or those birds back there are Hecrons. Just a thought, though. But Boshul made it back! It was terrible! They should be kind to animals! Yeah, that they should. They just freaking... They came through my house and they kicked my dog. That is a really old reference. And I didn't even do it right. I didn't do it justice, I should say.
Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. Well, aren't you bright and cheery in the morning, Lena? I'm glad I found you here, though. Surge, right? It kind of feels odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head. That's why your memory's all messed up. You're really someone else, but you think you're the Surge who died ten years ago. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. You know, her theory isn't all that implausible in a JRPG. Just throwing that out there. I think we have seen that before. And you don't seem like such a bad person either. You're planning to go to Termina, right? Then let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell you the truth, it feels like I've always known you. It sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, that's that. Shall we get going? And despite me turning one away, we do get another new party member. Lena has joined our party, and whenever somebody that you already know joins your party, they give you the option to change their name. And, like, we've been talking with Lena for a long time. It's kind of weird if I was just like, nope, now your name's Beth. You know what I mean? It, no, we're sticking with Lena. Okay, let's head to Termina. Shushu! Full speed ahead! Alright, we, we we got things working our way a little bit here, I I guess. So, despite the fact that, uh, like I said, I, I turned Kid away, uh, the reason that I did that is so that Lena would join the party. I think it will work better for me in the long run that way. So, let's take a look at Lena. We, we never really looked at our party members. Uh, we were kind of looking at them as we went through battles but now let's actually take a look so lena innate has an innate blue color uh, her strength is terrible her magic is good it's the same as surge but we haven't had a chance to level hers really all that much maybe it'll get a little bit higher uh, her agility is really good her magic resistance is pretty good and her resistance is bad um, to be honest she doesn't look like such a great character right now but uh, maybe it'll change as we you know equip her with stuff speaking of which we should probably do that she actually has that spatula uh, that we could have crafted we did pick up a bone axe but uh, nothing all that great uh, that's actually better than what i got isn't it uh, is everybody on the, uh, the mail? All right, so let's switch you over to the vest. Where are you at now? It doesn't really say, it doesn't, oh, evasion is at 8%. Oh, there we go. And, uh, magic, all right, that, that sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Uh, we do have a couple spares out of our helmets. You know what, let's hold off on, on equipping her for the time being. I don't think she comes with any elements either. Do you come with anything? Nope, she is completely empty. Oh well. She's not used to being in fights. After all, she's coming in with a spatula. So, you know, maybe, maybe not the best idea bringing her along. But we'll see what we can do. But now that we are back here, and I believe we do have to wait until we're back here, we want to go in this one here. If I could... I don't even have the flu, and I'm messing up running around. Let's head in here. And we want to head down the stairs. Oh, by the way, if... Um, if you get uh, Lena in your party right now, and you didn't have Pashul before, Pashul will join now, so there you go, there you go. But I believe I want to talk to you again, and I want to show you the shark tooth. This is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Judging from the size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Tell me you're the one who caught it. Nope, you did. What? What did you say? Another me? So the other me who became a fisherman asked you to give this to me? Not really. He kind of implied it, though, weirdly enough. 
What are you talking about? That's enough. There's only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure, there was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good ten years ago. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, if you would please put that thing away and leave me alone. Oh, so much for that. No answer. Seems to be just a straw doll. I have nothing more to say. Now, please leave. All right, I guess we'll go. 